In this video, I'm going to talk about screening modalities for ovarian cancer. Hello, this is Dr. PK from Dr. PK Life. Welcome to my channel. And so what are the tests available for ovarian cancer screening? Number one, transvaginal ultrasound, TVUS. What it is, imaging probed placed in the vagina to visualize ovaries. Pros, it can detect ovarian enlargement, cyst and masses. It's non-invasive. Cons, cannot reliably distinguish benign from malignant growth. Leads to unnecessary surgeries for false positive. Use, not recommended for average risk. Sometimes used in high-risk women, the women with the BRCA, mutation carriers with close follow-up. CA-125 blood test. It measures cancer antigen, um, 125 protein. Pros, it's elevated in many women with ovarian cancer. Cons, elevated in many benign conditions as well, like endometriosis, fibrosis, infection. Also not elevated in all ovarian cancer, especially in early age. That's why it's not a reliable as a standalone screening test. Multimodal screening, CA-125 and transvaginal ultrasound. It's a combination of CA-125 trending over time with ultrasound imaging. Evidence, large trials like PLCO in US and UKCTOCS in UK showed no significant mortality reduction in the general population, in the general population. Youth, still sometimes offered in high-risk uh, women who decline preventive surgery. Genetic testing, women with strong family history of uh, or BRCA1, BRCA2, or Lynch syndrome. Um, genetic testing is something which should be considered. It identifies high-risk individuals early, so they can consider risk-reducing salpingo-forectomy, which is removal of ovaries and tubes instead of relying on weak screening tools. There are experimental and emerging modalities, HE4 human epididymis, protein for blood test, OVA1 panel multi-marker test, liquid biopsy circulating tumor DNA, they're all investigational. So bottom line for average risk woman, no screening test is recommended. And transvaginal ultrasound and CA125, they are not effective in population screening. People can make individual choice if they want to get it done and they want to pay for it. But insurance is not going to cover for that. For high-risk women with a strong family history uh, and BRCA positive, annual or six-monthly transvaginal ultrasound or CA25 can be considered. But risk-reducing surgery after childbearing is the only proven method. Genetic counseling and testing is crucial. So thank you for watching.